young Buchas are in rabbinical school, okay? They're going and they're in their last year. And they're studying hard. And meanwhile, they're looking out the window and they see their other friend, the fellow that they grew up with. He's a bookie and he's driving back and forth with big cars, beautiful girls, everything else. And one fellow says to the other, he says, Sal, he says, I can't stand it any longer. He says, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to go to school. He says, I want to be like Izzy. I want a car. I want to go. I'm going to become a bookie. He says, how can you leave? He says, you're in school. You got one more year to go. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. And he leaves. Five years later, down the line, okay? Saw, he's riding around in a big car, different girls every night. The other fella gets a small little congregation, and he makes a living. He teaches cheder. He does anything to make a living. And he's got a little family. And he starts to see his friend's got all of this stuff, and he's got nothing. He's working hard. And every day he'd go in, he'd go in for, for morning services, and, and afterward he'd pray a little bit. He says, God, he says, how come, how come he's got all of this? I got nothing. I work hard. I do everything. I do everything you tell me. He's got more. And every day he comes in. One day he's sitting there, and all of a sudden he says, God, he says, look, look, look what I got. Nothing. I want something. All of a sudden there's a flash of light, big clap of thunder, and a deep voice says, Moss. He says, you know why? God, is that you? That's yeah, me. You know why? He said, why? Because you nudge me, that's why. <laughs>